Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Sierra, and we are about to watch Grey's Anatomy, season 14, episode 11, Don't Fear the Reaper. If you enjoy this reaction, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. This ghost should be haunting me, but I find Is that Kepner singing? To who I'm on your deathbed? Bart attack out. I'm gonna bust it out to rob you your presentation. No, you will not. Sabotaging the competition doesn't make you any better. <laughs> <laughs> not cute. Yo, I noticed that last week. She's like popping a lot of tongues. Are those tongues? Just pull over right here. I have a meeting at Seattle Press. I don't think you're hearing me. It's not so much a clock in my leg. It's like a, a pre-clock. Mr. Nelligan, I cannot admit you for a pre-clock because that's not a real thing. My name is Miranda Bailey. I am chief of surgery at Grace Sloan Memorial, and I believe that I am having a heart attack. Whoa. Can her life not be flashing before her eyes, though, as this is happening, please? Good news, reflux. I'm not confused. Give me that. Uh, run a 15 lead EKG. You could be missing a posterior infarct. The EKG looks fine. How about I take a family history? I feel like we're seeing the old Bailey right now. Miranda Bailey! What? Now, what? I'm sorry, but I was just reading in a tree. I promise. Stuck up in the tree is no place for a little girl. Chief Bailey. Chief Maxwell. My clinical judgment tells me you're all good. I most certainly am not all good. Are you sure you're not experiencing any unusual levels of stress? <sighs> you totally are. The man is dead. Just get in the car. I'm gonna take care of myself. I need twenty million dollars. Yeah. I am having a heart attack, and I'm not going anywhere until you do a full cardiac workup and prove it. It's incredible that if she's really having a heart attack, that because she's such an incredible doctor that she's identifying it. And being Working able out. to stay calm, yeah. if that's even possible. No wonder you have Just walking in and chilling, like, oh, I'm, I'm having a heart chief attack. Chief of right surgery. Now. Oh, chief of surgery. Look at you, burning it down. Is that Courtney Cox? Ethics. Ethics. Ouch, dang it. Miranda, oh my lord. Oh, well, I'm okay. I just scraped my elbow. Why on earth weren't you riding with your training wheels? Because I'm in junior high. And now the other kids pick on me for using training wheels. You seem agitated. She's having a heart attack and you're not helping her. That's agitating. Thank you. <laughs> Let's discuss diet and exercise. Any significant changes lately? Heartburn. Um, She's having heartburn. A few years, apparently your teachers didn't get the memo that women's heart attacks don't manifest the way they do in men. They're not all chest clutching, vomiting. Help, my arm is numb. Boom, floor drop. Just, just give me a cardiac stress test, Dr. Maxwell. Dr. Bailey, I just can tell Just give me the damn stress test, Maxwell. Give me the cardiac stress test, Dr. Maxwell. You do not need a stress test. Oh, my God. A opinion. You're not happy with your care here? You're free to leave. Oh, and drop dead in the parking lot? No, that is not how my story ends. Second opinion, please. Oh, they're making me <sighs> nervous. To me. Do not let them hook me up to anything. But if something happens to me... Why are they doing this, up. man? Well, I am here for a consult, but I'm not a cardiologist. I am a psychiatrist, and I was hoping that we could talk. Oh, the disrespect. Bailey knows her stuff, so I'm really, really nervous for when something does happen and she, like, passes out, man. Dr. Bailey. At Seattle Presbyterian. Don't tell anyone you're coming. Just get here fast. I'll be right there. Let's talk about your home life. I need you to understand that every second we waste, I'm losing heart muscle. My vessels are constricting. My heart is being damaged. I'm a doctor. You should, at the very least, acknowledge that. Fair enough, Dr. Bailey. Well, then if you'll humor me, I'd like to ask you for a consult. I have a patient, a, a woman who has a big job with big responsibilities, manages life. She also has a history of mental illness and I have assessed limited coping skills. I see no data to support her self-diagnosis. Slap him! Despite repeated tests, I see no support system in place, no friends or family in sight. 
It's her Dr. choice Bailey, not to be reaching out to these people. If you were the... 63% of women who die suddenly from coronary heart disease had no previous symptoms, and women of color are at a far greater risk. If I were consulting on the patient you describe, I would take into consideration statistics that would never even occur to people who look like you. I got in! Full scholarship to Wellesley! <laughs> Will Brad, baby! <laughs> Congratulations, honey. Six <laughs> hours and 40 minutes away. Are you sure it's your first choice? Mom, are you serious? Can you be happy for me? For once? Hey, how'd it go? Because I'm your mom and I get to know all the things. Go. A standing ovation from all the teachers. Oh. I am so proud of you, Tuck. Because I'm your mother, and I get to say it as many times as I want to. G yeah, no, g hey, go to class. Okay. Oh, Bailey's hey, always messing me up, this weekend. You're going to be okay, <laughs> Bailey. Stop. Dang. Well, this is a surprise. Yeah, I um, had me very, very young. <laughs> call, call, Blue! Come in here. She's coding. She had a broken femur. My have thrown a clock. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God, Miranda. Oh, damn, I'm glad to see you. Bailey! Miranda, Miranda. Bailey. Miranda. Look at this EKG. Elevated ST. I know what an MI looks like. Clearly you don't, because she's been sitting here for hours and you've completely missed it. When I said I do, I meant I do. Why are they doing all these flashbacks? Bailey's going to be fine. And if Han and Luke had listened to Leia, they could have avoided a lot of misery, I'm just saying. I know she'll be fine. She's Bailey. She's unstoppable. You can't slow her down. Amen. Uh, when was the last time you called in to work sick? Never. Perfect attendance award since fourth grade. I'm not about to blow that now. <laughs> exactly. Pierce, what happens at Seattle Prez stays, stays at, at Se Seattle Prez. <gasps> the pressure's dropping. Did you do cardiac stress test? Like she asked you to ten times? Now, not only has they could talk all they want, I'm not going to Mercy West, this baby is not coming out. The world just doesn't happen, okay? It's not all God. Yo, I need to restart this show. All these moments, man. Call Ben. I need my husband. Call my husband. Better make it too. Rough morning. 60 flights of stairs, carrying 50 pounds. I'm tired and I'm hungry. Four more hours to go. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks. Dr. Weber. I've dissected the internal memory. No. Whew. Chief of surgery, not an intern. Let's not get hit by a car. That's not helping anything. Well, how much damage? We won't know until she's done. There's nothing we can do but wait. She said it was indigestion. I'm dating Dr. Bailey. I know the drill. You know, Miranda is one of the most stubborn, pig-headed women I know. Amen. You don't get to make decisions on your own without a heads up. That's not your life anymore. When you are sharing your life with a person, you talk to them. You think with them. You make decisions with them. Yes. You're loyal. Does this mean we're still getting married? Definitely means you're still getting married. I thought I lost you. Not a chance. You call me. Talk to my boss down at the fire station. Told him I'm done. Oh, man. I'm done, Miranda. Call him back. I'm sorry. You fighting fires terrifies me. She feels like her mother. You know what I mean? Trying to keep him safe and not allowing him to do what he desires. You know? Life is too precious to waste. Doing anything less than what makes us happy. You get to be happy. <laughs> Just promise me one thing. Anything. Mm. Build me a tree house. 
and build me a tree house I can read it. A girl needs some peace to read a good book. About whether you spend your life in a boardroom, your bedroom, or on a beach with a Mai Tai in Maui. When you look back on your life, the only thing that matters is, did you spend it doing what you love with the people you love? And I'm going to be okay. I know you are. You are my Mandy. Mm -hmm. Did you make the most of this beautiful, terrifying, messed up life? All right, y'all, so that was Grey's Anatomy, season 14, episode 11, Don't Fear the Reaper. The love between Warren and Bailey really, really got me emotional tonight. Just the strength that Bailey has always had. She's so worried about taking care of other people and being there for other people. You know that she sometimes puts herself aside and I actually caught that she was taking Tums the last episode. And I mean, I'm sure it was gonna lead to something, but I did not think that it was gonna be this severe. And I also wasn't aware that heart attacks materialize different in women. I was blown away that she walked into the hospital and said, hey, I'm having a heart attack. You know, I know that because like I, like I said, uh, like she's such an incredible doctor that she was able to assess how she was feeling. And I also, like what are the consequences that that hospital is gonna go through because they overlooked that. She had to get surgery because they didn't do the things that she asked as a doctor. I'm really glad that in the end, she had people that cared about her with her. There was also a moment when Bailey realized that she was almost mimicking her mother's uh, fear because she was getting upset with Warren for going from an anesthesiologist to becoming a surgeon to now being a firefighter. I I said paramedic in my last reaction, my bad. But she realized that she was just trying to hold him close because she wanted him to be safe. And there's nothing wrong with that. But she gave Warren her blessing today. And I thought that that was a beautiful moment. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.